Let's also have a look at what Zanako had to deal with when uh, Nkana were the visitors. Now, that's a tough game, but since you played in that derby game and the passion that the Power Dynamo supporters have, uh, what does it mean when Zanako takes on Nkana and Nkana believe that Zanako are not an old team, so they shouldn't be telling them how football is played? Uh, funny thing, it's always been uh, Zanako on top of Nkana. So Nkana coming away with a point, meaning they played all lungs out, and uh, credit to them. Otherwise, uh, even uh, during your time, during our time, we used to beat Nkana. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the. <laughs> Let's have a look at the lineups that uh, Zedi, uh, Sileti, and Mbamba actually chose. For this one, so for Numba Mamba, he reverted to what he prefers to play with two strikers uh, and one defensive midfielder and two wingers, one attacking midfielder. And that attacking midfielder was Richard Kasonde, the jersey number 14 in red. Then for Nkana, they actually went 4 3 3. Diego Panene started at left back, right back was Joseph Msonda. The midfield three was Donashano Malama, Simon Walia. And Ngulube, the attacking three way were Sate Sate, Water Walia, and Rono Chiwe. Now, you think right there. Now, I'm, I'm just thinking the intricacies of playing that formation. If you've got an overload on the right, you require Rono Chiwe to actually drop down. And Rono Chiwe, the last time I checked, was a uh, number nine inside out. It would be trying to extract juice from a stone by making him come back and require him mm. to drop that way but anyway here's the forward three that has gotten them a couple of goals this season and zeddy was probably going for brock in this game must win and therefore the lineup had those instructions oh yes uh, i think he, the only thing which i didn't uh, like much about uh, in that system you are denying Sate Sate chances to score. Because you are making Sate Sate to come right behind, drop into his own area, get the ball and start to feed this other. By the time he's reaching up front, he's getting tired. Okay. Let's have a look at Zanako in attack. The bankers will probably have the big game argument. In the last meeting between these two teams, uh, Ankana were comfortable victors. But the intricacies again in the central area. So it was Kitumbo... Uh, the number 13 and the number 14, Richard Kasonde, against those three in midfield. But as we said, Sutton needed to put in a shift dropping back. The same can be said about Ronald Chiu, they had to come back. Mm. And Mr. Waterwalia. And later on, of course, we'll show you that he also had to perform a defensive shift. But that was the problem right there. And look at the average positioning of Kasonde there. Almost right behind Donashano Malama because he wants to join the attack without the ball. And that means for Kitumbo, for him to access him, it's either he plays square or diagonal passes into Enes Mbewe and Augustin Mlenga who are on the left and right of attack or simply float the ball long into those attackers. And, and they fail to score again. Yes, they, they did score against El Ali, but maybe we'd say, oh, who cares? Uh, important point there. But right now, against Nkana, a lot of Zanako supporters would think, hmm, we needed to win. Forget about uh, we did Casablanca on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, if you look at uh, the, the system, I think it's the one they want to use uh, on Wednesday. They are playing on Wednesday, yeah. right? Yes, so it looks like it's the one they are trying to to, to push the strikers, maybe be trying to see if they can manage to get maybe three or four, four, four goals. Because, in fact, if you look at uh, that game which they played, you look at the, 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 the way they were defending and the way they were attacking. They were attacking as a team, they defend as a team. But now, since we are at home, we also want to play an open game. Look at the way they played with Inkana. And the, 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 the same system they are using. I, 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 I fear to agree with you, but 
this is the same number Mamba who went with two defensive midfielders against, against El Akli. Mm-hmm. And in tough continental games, at home, okay, against the younger, he went with one defensive midfielder. But right now, his choice of number eight, therefore, becomes very important because Richard Kasonde, the last time I checked, defensive midfielder, and very good at it. Yes. But he gets you some goals, so it's easy to think of him as the number eight. Well, uh, I think he is good also even when you put him as an attacking midfielder because he will give you options. He can score, he can still come back. Okay, so that was Zanako in attack. Let's look at the fragmentation of the lines in this game because it actually goes a long way to probably explain certain phenomena. So in transition, Kitumbo was sitting in front of the back four and helping them and just screening them and protecting them from Simon Walia Ngulube and Water Walia who are operating in the central areas. Now, when they win the ball high up, the, uh, deep in their own half like that, just look at how the Zanako team becomes fragmented. Like the defenders are in their own half, the attackers and the strikers are in the other half, and then. If you do not win the second ball there, you'll be pulling your hair. But probably if against Widad, this cannot happen from a Zanako perspective because if you lose the second ball now, it, it creates more problems than the normal ones you already have, Vespa. Yeah, especially if you leave the, the gaps the way they, they were living with Inkana. You give them space. You know those guys who are coming from, from this side. Uh, they know how to play with the uh, Africans, the, like Asi here in Zambia. You see, our system of play sometimes is, 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 is the players uh, themselves. Look at the way we play in the league. If you looked at uh, the way Zesco played, some players were trying to uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I'm having a crucial game which maybe they will get more money than they did. Then yeah, this they, one, the winning bonus. Yes, yes. So they also look at the bonus sometimes that ah, the league and the bonus, you see. So sometimes even the Zanako players playing with Inkana, they could have put in their best and maybe win that game. But sometimes you try to keep your, 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 your maybe to say, I ah, know, maybe they will, they will hit me, I can't play on, your, on, on Wednesday and I will miss the, the good bonus which is coming, maybe we've been promised. But, but they tried. They tried, yes, uh, of uh, course, yes. Mamba, they, they tried. Well, they tried. I, I saw uh, Kennedy coming on. No. We saw Gaston Lenga coming on. They held their heads in their palms many times during that game. No, it wasn't just their day. They had put in a, a good performance. It's just that uh, a lot of misses. Hence, uh, the result was a reflection of the day. But uh, they played well. We wish them well in the next encounter on Wednesday. But I, I'm, I'm thinking, Nkana and Zanako should be mature sides. Mature sides who shouldn't fragment the way we are fragmenting like that. Maybe it would be under, understandable for the under-20 to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are not completely mature and you can forgive them. But for top professionals like that, and, and, and I'm just thinking, once you do that, you will not win the second ball. You will not win the third ball. And because of that, the game will be reduced to almost like a table tennis situation. And I think it will make the new philosophy that Numba Mamba wants to implement at that club ever so difficult. What's, what goes on in the mind of a Zambian player? You've played locally and beyond. No. The issue of space is a song that has been sung from time in memory. No, like uh, Janza was putting it, at times it's uh, the mentality of players... Uh, instead of concentrating on that particular game, it was already in the head of the, the Wednesday game. We were playing a big game on Wednesday, hence they were reserving themselves. That's why at times I was seeing Simon more into the game from Kana. It is his substitute which even made uh, uh, Zanako to be more in the game because now uh, they stopped uh, playing the way they were playing when Simon was there. Okay, so let's give credit to Zanako. They didn't actually make it a walk in the park for Nkana. And this is how, when you have water while you're dropping deep into midfield to try to collect the ball, now you know there's fire on the mountain. Let's just have a look at water coming deep. Now, water while you're now center forward, number nine, 
coming deep, Vespa. Ah, ha, ha. And Sata is already coming deep. Ronald Chiwe, by virtue of the formation and system, has to come deep. But look at how deep he comes. He even starts almost trying to mark Kitumbo and stop him from playing because Kitumbo is the mitochondria of that midfield. He's getting the ball. He's finding Enes Mbewe. He's finding Augustine. He's floating the ball forward. And because of that, Zanako can even well, because it's a no contest there, Richard Kasonde can actually afford to run forward and say, oh, don't worry, Kitumbo got water, sate, and Ronochiwe. Nothing is going to happen. Yeah, Zite, it's, it's the discipline we are talking about. Because if you look at uh, water himself, if he was put to say, you are uh, our number nine, you should not move from here to maybe up to the center. But question, coach, right there. Don't move when the lines are fragmented. Yes. And the service is not coming. Why? Because Kitumbo is cutting all mm -hmm. manner of supply. Supply is not coming. The team is fragmented. Who tells who to become compact, especially on the pitch? Is it the coach to blow his top, kick some water bottles, tell the captain to tell everyone to maintain position? But it looks like that's this one is an academic lecture, coach. Yeah, that's where the communication comes in. Because if you look at uh, Sate Sate himself, Sate Sate is uh, also a, a number nine. It's only the, the, the system which makes him sometimes to become a number ten or number nine. Especially when he's playing with a, a good striker like uh, Waterboy. There should be a very good communication between the two. And when you have a very good communication between the two, it will be easy for you even to get the goal. But if you, you look at the Zambian players for today, they are quiet. They don't talk. I don't know whether there are ranks there in the pitch whereby you can't shout for your friend because he's a major. But but you know dressing room politics. There are certain players who can speak on the pitch. Oh yes, oh yes. And um, how, how much power? So if we look at the the Nkana setup, I'm sure Joseph from Sonda was. Uh, should I tell them? Okay. Yeah. I'm the senior player. The, the armband is Donashano. Maybe Donashano should tell him. Or, or maybe the coach on the touchline, because you also need to know the challenges of being on the touchline. You can be saying things and the information is not going to the destination. No, for me, at some point, I just saw uh, to say, no, I'm kind of just uh, content for a draw, because uh, there's no way uh, Sate Sate will draw back, Water Walia draws back, then uh, you don't have uh, a right uh, top man staying there. So how are you going to get goals? So, uh, Shadrach Msonda actually came on, to provide some natural width and allow Sate to be the terror. But there's something about Sate gentleman that I've seen. He's working a little bit harder for this team. I've never seen him work as hard as this. In fact, uh, that's why Zite have mentioned too much Sate Sate. I'm happy to say that the boy is uh, slowly gaining his uh, stature. He's uh, really putting in everything for, for the team. All he needs now is just to be on target. All right. And this uh, supply to him, then uh, we'll see the real Sate Sate. Okay, let's talk about the positioning of Richard Casonde because with one eye on Widad Casablanca, let's take stock of what the number eight in that game was doing, or the central attacking midfielder for Zanako. As we said, running without the ball into the final third. Now, I don't know. Could it be? This is the Zanako side that was passing the ball through the lines last year, but there are turnover of players and whatnot, and, and we've seen the philosophy change a bit. What is your honest suspicion? Were Zanako being forced to play a little bit long as a result of Richard Kasonde taking up that position, or you'd actually ask him to get back, participate in breaking down the opposition, so that by the time we get to the final third, instead of dealing with six, seven players in the final third, we are dealing with three, four, and there's a bit of space to maneuver, coach. Yeah, uh, if you look at uh, the way they were marking, uh, Zanako faced in their marking when Inkana was attacking. You look at uh, Sate Sate and the uh, water. The, the problem they had was with uh, Sate Sate. No wonder he was dropping deep. Because if you leave Sate Sate, even you leave him alone, you think he's uh, not in the game. He can score at any time. But for Zanako, looking at their number eight, the way he was uh, playing in the deep, 
uh, I'm sure is going to change for this game which is coming on Wednesday. Because what we want is to have an early goal or maybe at least have so many goals through him uh, being involved too much in attack. Because if he is too much involved in defense, then I don't see ourselves maybe getting an early goal or maybe more goals. So two things. The, the person who plays eight against with that Casablanca, I don't know if Numba Mamba will go for one defensive midfielder or one. But if he goes for two, he's used Seth Sakala as the number 10. He used him against Seo Ali. Would you use him as a 10 for this one? Yes, as sir. well. And how many players do you play up top? One, two, or three? I think he should just uh, play two at the top, then uh, let uh, Francis Kasonde join the attack more and leave uh, Kitumbo as anchor uh, midfielder there.